G'day, g'day, and welcome to another episode of Kiwi Car Life. And in some past videos where I've been driving an automatic car, I've been asked, how do you rev match an automatic transmission? Because normally you just use the Tiptronic mode, pull the paddle, and the whole point of it being an automatic is that it just does everything for you. But it is possible to rev match some automatic transmission cars, and I sort of realized when I was driving this V6 Accord from work that I just seem to sort of do it naturally whenever I'm coming up to an intersection you pull the paddle, rev match, pull the paddle, rev match and so today I'm going to show you how to do that. So now the first thing that you need to do if you want to learn how to rev match your automatic transmission car is find out if you even need to do it in the first place because quite a lot of modern automatics these days like for instance the ZF6 in my BMW Z4 do it for you and essentially the way to find that out is just to put it in manual mode and if the car very, very smoothly and quickly downshifts and quite obviously goes from down a gear, then you'll know that you don't need to do it yourself. And if you can find a car that rev matches it for you, as much as it is quite fun to do it yourself, most automatic transmissions, if I'm being honest, don't take too well to rev matching. It's not that it's going to damage them or anything, it's just that most automatics, they kind of keep a constant mesh and so there isn't an obvious gap between gears where you have an open window to stab the throttle. And if you try, it'll kind of go, Ugh, and kind of lurch around. This V6 Accord, on the other hand. Does not rev match. How do I know that? Well, if I pull the panel here, say, to go from third gear to second gear, you feel that the car kind of lurches forward a little bit and there's not an obvious run. It's just kind of a and really the only Honda that actually properly rev matches like my Z4 is the New Zealand new Civic Euro L facelift. No other Hondas rev match at all or if they do it's only kind of like this Accord V6 here. But essentially to rev match a downshift all you're going to do is pull the paddle and then you have like a, a brief window between when it's switching from one set of clutches for one gear to the other set of clutches for the other gear. And in that brief window, you can pretty much do whatever you want on the throttle and the car is, for all intents and purposes, in neutral. So for instance, if I'm in fourth, if I go and pull the down paddle and then like half a second later, just give it a stab of full throttle, I can get it to drop into third quite quickly. Second gear likewise, and it goes vroom, it makes quite a good noise. If I get up to a bit more speed, likewise here in a second, you can see you can get quite a smooth, quick whoop, down the gears, which is really nice. I'm just going to splash this bus. Oh, love the sound of this thing. And likewise in a second. See, it's literally just as simple as that. You know, if you've got a car with a Tiptronic mode, obviously you're going to have to have it in manual to be able to do it. And then, yep, you just, you know, coming along here, and I want to go down into second. You just pull the paddle and half a second later just stab the throttle. There you go, off you go, and then... Oh, what a beautiful noise! Into second. See, it's so easy. It's just paddle, rev, paddle, rev. And every car is going to be a little bit different, so you kind of have to figure out the timing that works best for your particular engine and transmission combo. I know my friend with the Black Legacy 3 liter R from the $3,000 3 liter challenge, uh, his one has quite a big delay from when you pull the paddle or pull the, the stick to when it actually uh, decides to downshift. So he has to kind of go, pull the stick, rev, you know, he kind of has to give it a, a, a decent gap. Whereas with the Hondas, it's just paddle, rev, paddle, rev, and it's just instant, you know, into first gear here, paddle, rev, off you go so easy so there we go thanks very much for watching this episode of kiwi car life i hope you enjoyed it and i hope you found it helpful listening to the glorious sounds of the j35 through wellington city central and if you want to see the video of me comparing the automatic and manual modified accords then click over here i did quite a lot of rev matching in the auto one in that video and if you want to see me showing you how to rev match a manual transmission car then click over here and i look forward to seeing you again next time